Well, 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 it is exciting. I, you know that I'm always excited about trying to give you some tips throughout the day. Hey, my name is Kirkland from Daily Momentum. For all you that do not know, you all know that I love to do the snack. I'm in my snack business, in my uh, thing that I love to do, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, just thanking God for just uh, putting me into this realm of not only that, it's trying to educate some of the entrepreneurs, people that want to be leaders, trying to get started because uh, in order for me to uh, latch down onto my field of the things that I'm doing as being a business owner, I had to learn some skills as being a, a leader and having them leadership skills and a lot of things that I'm learning and I went through is learned throughout the way. I'm trying to give it all to my viewers and the ones uh, that need, uh, a lot of you need motivation. A lot of you are having hardships. You're dealing with financial uh, troubles. A lot of things that you are dealing with, and I'm just trying to get you with some of the things that I went through, is learning. A lot of my videos, I talk about overbuying, overspending, and then when you get them lags, it's rough. When you are rough, overspending and you're buying and you're rushing and not allowing and waiting for your your investment your first investment to produce and you into this rut and then you have to figure out how to do it so you come to the right place you come to the right place to for me to be able to help you to uh keep you motivated to keep you into a momentum so you can keep moving uh and so what a great thing to have a friend a cousin, an uncle, uh, a nephew to be able to get you to the point that you need to be to get to. And so here, I'm just going to be all them for you. I'm just going to be all them for you to help you along the way. Um, just to keep you uh, motivated and keep you excited about the thing that you want to do. Because there are some days, there's going to be some days you're not going to be excited about this business that you started. Uh, there's going to be some rough patches. And so, right now is a time right now that a lot of people are going to be dropping off. Because one thing that I learned about being in the entrepreneur field, um, trying to be with things when it gets too cold and when it gets too hot. And so, a lot of people don't know that this is the way to attack and to be able to dominate the competition if you have competition. Because uh, everybody's not going to want to put in them hard extra hours the uh, extra moments that extras just straighten up, fixing or the extra hour that you need to put in, or even an extra getting up in the morning. You're not going to be able to, people are not going to want to do this. And so this is a time to attack these things, to be able to get out and to talk to customers, to be able to get out and to uh, just to keep that momentum going into your business and you just and growing your business, starting the business, you got to keep on pushing putting these things in so you can be able to grow and um the worst and the most best time i'm said worse i apologize but the best time to be able to do all this is when everybody's going to be lagging when it gets too cold and it's raining and it's colding and and especially when it's hot nobody wants to be in the heat and people start slacking and so this is a time that people start slacking this when you need to get into the game and start pushing more harder. You need to start uh, getting into your business, finding out your numbers, uh, seeing some expenses that you need to cut off, some different things you need to do with saving, uh, to try to equip yourself to get ready to grow. And in the business, there's no way, of, uh, easy and better way into a, have a business is to grow your business. That's the most exciting thing you need to do is to grow your business. So I'm just asking you just to follow me along this pathway and this journey and just see where we go because my journey is going to be slow and it's going to be unpatient. It's going to make you say, oh man, how long, how much longer? Well, it takes that. A lot of things just don't grow overnight in order to be able to have a business. The electric didn't come overnight. People that are bringing UPS packages didn't happen overnight. People that are selling stuff online, it didn't happen overnight. Um, 
all these easy businesses and different things that went on, uh, it didn't happen overnight. In order to be able to allow your business to grow, you got to put in the work. You got to forget about it and just get yourself ready, be patient, and to take this ride. And why you are on down times, or some of you that are on down times and you, things are not taking off, well, this is the time you should be educating your stuff. Get into, watch some videos, go get some books in the library, read, educate yourself. Because school went, once you, people think that these people didn't get out of school and that you just need to stop learning. No, you got to keep learning. Not only that, uh, reading books, you have to take yourself on a journey because this whole world is like a library. It's so much to learn. So many people you can learn on. Just sit back and just watch and just listen and pay attention to the skills of different people saying, hey, I need to focus on, this is what I want to be able to do to grow. So find you someone that you can lean on, that you can pay attention to and say, hey, I need to get to this point. So you need to hang, if you want to be successful, you got to hang around people that are doing more than you and try to figure that out and learn these different things and so you can be able to do it. So if you're just hanging out with normal people, people that ain't helping you grow, ain't helping you learning, not even help keep you motivated, then you need to lose them people and try to find out some skills that you need to learn. Not, I'm not, don't take around, yes, I'm a Christian, I love people and I love in, inviting cups, but it's in order for to be able to grow in a business style, you got to be around different types of people that have different minds. Everybody have a different, a certain mindset in growing business or just to be a business owner. Some people might just be regular people who like just go to work, nine to five, eight to two, uh, 11 to three, uh, seven and seven, you know, I mean, all that's good, you know. So, I, you know, we all know that being an entrepreneur it is very hard. It's hard and it's hard. And so I don't really encourage people to be an entrepreneur because it's hard work. I'm not going to tell you being an entrepreneur that it's easy. It's not easy. So this is why I make these videos to lay out some truth to you, to the ones that who are planning on quitting their job and then you ain't got nothing to fall back on. You're just going to quit your job. And then so when I did decide to quit my job, I had a, um, a job. I've worked my entrepreneurial skills out of doing the things that I wanted to do. And then once things got set up for me to jump, then I jumped. So, you know, this is when you got to take that jump and that leap of faith. And so in being an entrepreneur, it takes faith. You got to have faith, you know, and not only that, by me living for God and doing the things that God wanted me to do, the word of God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. God will give you wisdom. God will give you to point you to the right people to be with, the right people to listen to, the right people to hang with. And sometimes we just think things going to happen so easy, so simple. Come on, man. Come on. Let, come on. Take your time. Just take it slow. Even when you went to graduate from high school, it didn't take it. took a long time to graduate high school. It took 12 years. So you have to think about that. And if you want to get more education and learn more, you have to go to college. You have to go back to college. And some of you have to go back to college. And some of you all had already went to college and college got so many degrees and you still don't have a job and you still ain't putting in the effort. So put in some effort, put in some hard work, take some of the things that you're learning and use them. Stand out in faith. So I just thank you all for just joining me. For all you just joined in now, uh, my name is Kirkland. My show is Daily Momentum. Hey, take time to subscribe to my videos. Uh, listen to some of these charts and some of the things that I'm doing. Hey, I'm just sitting back and enjoying this journey. And I'm just asking you just to ride with me on this journey. Sometimes you need to just plug in your earphone and just listen to my uh, me just talking to you because I ain't doing a whole lot of moving around and, and doing different things. I'm just trying to talk to you and try to throw some education in there to help you along the way to know and to help you and give you some truths to let you know that it's not easy in being an entrepreneur. I unless you and you got to love what you're doing. You got to enjoy it. When you got to when you just can't wait, just get up in the morning and the excitement of just it's like opening up a present for Christmas and being an entrepreneur. You have to love what you're doing. And when you do find that, jump into it. 
So thank you all for joining me. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to my video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.